we will be discussing unmasking MS and other inflammatory illnesses. MS is just an acronym for the disease multiple sclerosis. So we will be looking at what they call autoimmune disease. And the word auto, like automatic, means the body, okay, so they say the body is attacking itself. This is what they say. Okay, but I'm going to share with you what God has shown me over the, since 2007, I have been writing this that you're looking at now. I've taken a lot of stuff on it, just for presentation sake, but I've been writing this since 2007. Now what you see here is a person who suffers with demyelination. The myelin on the nerve cell is being eaten off. That's a normal nerve cell with a myelin sheet. And that's one that is not normal, that is caused by inflammation. Okay? And as you know, the brain and the spinal cord is what make up the central nervous system. Now the spinal cord we branch off into different areas, to different append appendages, and so we are able to move, and we are able to feel stimuli, we are able to interact with the outside world, and so forth. It says, the actual cause of MS leaves the scientific minds of this world frantic with frustration and groping for answers. It is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, said the Lord, and I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent man. Tell me now, where is the wise? Where are the scientists? Where are the dis disputatious men and women of this world? Have not I, the God of creation, made the wisdom of this world foolishness? For after that I have given wisdom to the men of this world, they glory due to me for the gift of wisdom, say the Lord, has been ascribed to man's own abilities, and he has shut out the great giver of all things from his mind. Therefore it pleased me to use a foolish man, that is me, to confound the wise, yes, a man who is despised, a man who is not esteemed to bring to not the things that are, that all praise, honor, glory may be ascribed to me, not me, but to God. Amen. You can find that passage in Corinthians, but I just give it the marginal reading. Because that's what God is for me. He's going to use Christians, his people, to confound the world. Just like we use Aaron and Moses to confound a whole nation, Egypt. Just like I use Joseph. Just like I use Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God, just like I use Elijah, I can keep going on. God still intends to use his people to show the world their errors. Now, there are three views about the actual cause of MS, multiple sclerosis. MS is said to be caused by a viral infection, heredity, or an adverse reaction to the environment. But to truly understand the underlying cause of MS and other autoimmune diseases, one must first understand how the immune system works and what is meant by the term autoimmune disease. Doesn't it make sense? Autoimmune disease is something that the immune system attacks the body. So if you want to understand about autoimmune disease, first understand the immune system. And find out what the term autoimmune actually means. So this is just a brief understanding, a brief explanation of the immune system. The immune system was designed by God to defend our body's constitution. Therefore, this is a formidable system that God has devised to protect us from harmful bacteria and viruses. However, inter interestingly enough, in today's culture, we are so used to under underestimating the immune system's ability to heal the body. This is because we have believed the lies of the pharmaceutical companies. These companies invest so much money in an advertisement to make us doubt the fact that our body can heal itself without their drugs, but it is interesting to know that at the height of an infection, the body can produce up to 80 million antibodies per second. Wow. And the antibodies what help you to fight off infection. 
But they tell you, you have to use my... Because it's going to get it. First and foremost, we tried to start at 6.30, but it didn't work pastor. But I'm asking for your permission. It might go, and I'm asking pastor to a little bit over nine. But I don't want you to miss anything out of this. Because when you understand this, when you understand this, it should cause you to, if you're a nurse, it should cause you to want to ask God to give you a different profession. Or to, to be give you a right direction. Give you a different profession. Or change the way how you practice the nursing. I'm being serious. Now this is what the immune system looks like. You got the lymphatic system, the lymphatic vessel rather, and you got the tonsil. These are all the parts of the um, immune system, the thymus gland, lymph nodes, the spleen, the appendix. A lot of people always, that they just love cut off this part. They say there's no purpose for it. You tell me God's going to put an appendix on your body and there's no reason for it. God is stupid, isn't he? This is very, very important. That's right. that, that little thing is probably the most important thing in the world you system. So it's strange. Because this is where what is known as your microbiota, the microbiome, the bacteria that help you, the bacteria that actually train your immune system to fight. Wow. And the bacteria in your body are more than the cells in your body. So you have the bone marrow, where all the cells are made, every single cell, cell, the lymphatic vessel. So the immune system is an interconnected component of cells, tissue, and organs. The organ of the immune system is positioned throughout the body. Its components are bone marrow, as we just saw, the lymphatic, lymphocytes, which is the fighting cell, and the spleen, tonsils, adenoids, thymus gland, appendix, lymph, appendix, Lymphatic vessels, nodes, and ducts. We just put that in there. So here you have now a quick glance of the immune cell factory. So the immune cell factory is right here, the bone marrow. That is why you always notice they try to do what is called stem cell, because mm -hmm. the stem cell means that cell can turn into any part of your body. Mm -hmm. Any cell in your body, it can, it can turn into an eye cell, a heart cell, any part. So it's the cell that. So what you see here now, the bone marrow churning out. So a little bit more, Marvin, please. Just a little. Right, so you see, it makes... A little bit more, Marvin, please. Ah, all right, come back. <laughs> right, so basically, you have at the bottom here the stem cell. Then the stem cell... Correct. Thank you, Marvin. The stem cell make the common um, vanilla side. Common granular side makes another group of immune cells. You can see them in so field, the macrophage, the basal field, the mast cell, and then you got the B cell, the killer cell, T cell, and dendritic cell, and so on. And they all have a different function. And as a matter of fact, they all communicate with each other perfectly well, better than how we do. They don't make mistakes. What did I say? The only way they will make mistakes is if you make a mistake in your lifestyle. And, the, and, and, and what they do is not even a mistake, they're actually trying to correct your mistake. And you're going to see that. White blood cells derive either from the bone marrow, lymph nodes, or spleen, be it T cell, B cell, or any of the other types of granular side. Neutrophils, dendritic cells, mast cells, and encinophils, monocytes, basophils that engulf pathogens and aid in the healing process of a non-specific or specific immune response. So there are different reasons that the body would res respond, and we're going to look at that. The immune system has the innate ability to identify the body's own cells or foreign tissue. And you know the word innate, what it means. Built in. So when they tell you, come bring your children, Get your vaccination. Because we are protecting you against a future disease. God is stupid. Man is better than God. That they can set something up in your body too, so that you can protect yourself from future danger. And God has replaced something in the body. The scripture tells me. 
The scripture tells me that the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 years and not one of them were feeble. And the only time they became sick is when they disrespect God. Snake bite them up. And choke themselves with food in the mouth. It's the matter of fact, they didn't even start swallowing. It says as they started to eat it. While they were eating, they start to vomit at night. That's the only time you find them. And when the time they slept with the Moabites. That's the only time you find them in those conditions. Other than that, they had God's protection. In Israel, when in Egypt, when all the things were happening, they were kept up, safe. And when God is going to pour the plague again, he's going to keep them, keep us, if we're alive, safe. Amen. God knows how to save his people. Amen. All his people have to do is obey his commands. Yeah. Simple. The world has deceived us so much, and we have believed their lies. See, the immune system has the innate ability to identify the body's own cells or foreign tissue. Therefore, it generally does not attack cells that carry self marker molecules that it recognizes. Now, when your, own, your immune cells encounter a cell or organism with a sequence of protein or an antigen that say foreign, with little or no delay, they will make a strategic advance to destroy it. In plain language, an antigen is a marker molecule that stimulates an immune response. It can be either self or non-self. So your body has its own antigen. And everything that is harmful carries an antigen. And the antigen is what the dangerous cell would go over to test and to see if this belongs in here. And if it doesn't, you're going to see what it does. Now, under normal circumstances, you got a bacteria here, right? Mm -hmm. And a virus. And these little appendages are just looking at are known as the antigen, okay? So under normal circumstances, non-self antigens are responsible for triggering an immune response. This can be a germ such as any disease producing agent, like a bacterium or even a tiny, the tiniest piece of a live or dead virus mixed with the toxic heavy metals inoculated to stimulate the production of antibodies. That's what a virus, that's what a vaccine is. You have dead vaccine or you have live vaccine. The dead vaccine is made with dead particles of animal tissues and aluminium, mercury, lead, and you name all the, the toxic heavy metals. And that, when it goes into your body, does not come out for all 40 years. Stays especially in the brain. That's why you have so much ADHD and autism. And Alzheimer's. And all the other different autoimmune diseases. We're going to see. There are two types of specific response or adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity, cell mediated immunity, and antibody mediated immunity. And the T cell is the type of white blood cell which is responsible for cell mediated immunity and immune response chiefly against viral or fungal invasions or transplanted foreign tissue. So you see, there are two different responses. Marvin, you moving too fast? Okay. <laughs> There are two different responses. You got the cell mediated immunity and antibody mediated immunity. But the, this one, which is cell mediated, is mainly for viral, fungal, and so on. Alright? So, follow. Let me paint you a picture. When a macrophage, so this is what happened now. When a macrophage encounters a pathogen, it engulfs the intruder and destroys it with, un, with oxidants and nitric oxide. oxide. Or it does what it is called an antigen presentation by raising a signal in the form of an antigen from the ingested microbe and alert the T cell by releasing a chemical called cytokine. So basically, if I catch Patrick in my house, Stephen, <laughs> I grab Patrick, I'm mean, not go Patrick until the police come. <laughs> and when the police come, it's a semen. And the police take him away. That's exactly what. The macrophage, one of the white blood cells does. It hold on to it, it can either destroy it, or just hold on to it. If it's never been in the body before, it holds on to it and puts out a part of the body 
And so the other cells come around and sniff it and recognize it and put a memory of it. So next time it comes in the body, they just quickly get rid of it. So this is what it looks like in a picture. So here you got the macrophage, here you got the infected cell, and then it engulfs it and it pushes out the antigen. And the T cells, because the T cells can transform their cells into many different cells to do different things. Memory, killer, and want to shut off the information. So uh, this one is the memory, so it's making sure it's take a record, put it in the memory bank, and then it help a T cell, and then it help a T cell release cytokines. Once it releases cytokines, the cytokines cause this cell not to produce other cells. Other T cells, and the other T cells multiply, kill the infected cell, and that's it lying there dead. There ain't no disease that can overcome this unless you do not take care of this. If you work with God using His method, you can overcome any sickness this life brings upon us with God's blessing. Amen. But they tell us otherwise, and we do believe in. If you keep telling a child that he's dumb, that child is going to grow believing that they're dumb. Now, once the T cell, basically what I'm explaining is what's written here. It says once the T cell reaches, so I can skip that because I just explained it to you. And that's basically what I said. Now, at this point, the T cells undergo a strategic change and begin to produce powerful chemicals. These substances allow the cells to regulate their own growth and behavior. And thus, they begin to proliferate in the infected area and organize themselves in, into sets and subsets, passing from information back and forth like clouds of bees swarming around a hive. One set known as the memory T cells take a mental note about the type of antigen for future defense, and another set known as the killer T cell attack the organism or the infected cell head on using cytokines, proteins called lymphokines. And this is another, the other thing that's going to happen. So you can see here the B cell, a B cell that is, how it, how it actually functions and how it produces uh, antibodies. So it, it, it changes, so a B cell can change into a plasma cell and a plasma cell releases the antibodies and the antibodies that it releases is only made specifically for whatever it's going after. So it's like a sniper, it doesn't miss. Mm -hmm. It's not saying, if I'm going after Susan, I'm not looking at anybody else. It's only looking at Susan because it was coded for the protein sequence that Susan is made up of. So if, let's say Susan protein sequence is M equal two square. It will be walking, you will see other things, but it doesn't care, it's not looking for Susan. And whenever you catch Susan, hell go cruise. <laughs> Right. So the antibody mediate defense is carried out remotely by the lymphocyte, which acts as a sniper of the immune system. B cell is another type of white blood cell which multiplies in the presence of an antigen and produces a class of proteins within the lymph, lymph tissue called gamma globulins, a plasma protein containing the immunoglobulin that functions as antibodies. An antibody attaches itself specifically to the invader it was made to neutralize tagging it for destruction by the killer cells, a type of lymphocyte. It doesn't go after anything else. Tags it, put a target on it, killer cell, take him out. So that's how the immune system works. Isn't that efficient? Yes. That's how God made it to work. So some B cells also retain memory of whatever antigen they encounter for future defense. So both the T cells and the B cells possess the ability to recognize any pathogen even if they never encounter them before, simply by scanning the MHC distinctive antigen, which are marker molecules on, molecules on their surface to determine histocompatibility. Once the invader micro, invading microbe has been dealt with by the K cell, it is the so, suppressor T cell's duty. So this is another T cell, which is very important. So after all the information is going on, you have another T cell that was 
made during the time of the Salafis release and they were making their changes and multiplying their cells. That is important for sh telling them, okay, in bed now, relax. Calm down, calm down. Stop firing. And so that's his duty. But his duty can be messed up. And we're going to look at it. So the next, next thing we, so we look at the first thing, we understand the immune system briefly. So the next thing we need to ascertain to find out the real cause of autoimmune disease is what is meant by the term autoimmunity. So, so here's some list of autoimmune disease. You got the, um, the brain problems, all the things like autism, multiple sclerosis, leukemia for the blood, and all those stuff, GI tract, all the um, I, irritable bowel dis disorders, the Crohn's, the ulcerative colitis, and the type 1 diabetes, the nerve problem, peripheral um, neuropathy and diabetic neuropathy, and the skin problem, the vitiligo, the eczema, and the psoriasis, the muscle problem, the rheumatoid arthritis, the bones problem, and rheumatoid arthritis and again, the, the, the thyroid, Hashimoto thyroidism, um, Graves disease, and there's a whole list, a whole list of these diseases. And the underlying cause is just one simple thing for all these diseases and a hundred more. One little thing. Autoimmune disease, briefly explained. Autoimmune disease is a term which suggests that one's immune system has directed itself against its own body tissue. Initially, the immune system may have been responding to a virus or an allergen of some sort, and somehow the immune system got confused, so they say, okay, and starts to attack and destroy the tissues of the body instead of the virus or antigen. Thus, the medical societies refer to MS as an autoimmune dysfunction because they suppose the immune system is not in a condition to differentiate between a foreign tissue and tissue normally present through the brain and the spinal cord. However, this is far, far from the truth. Now, the true cause of autoimmunity. The reason the immune system has become more active than normal is a logical expectation, given the fact that the foreign protein molecules and sometimes the xenobiotic toxicant, I'll explain what that is, such as the mercury, aluminium, and all the other heavy metal um, that, that are poisonous to the body, the lead and the cadmium and, and so forth, that are in the vaccines find shelter in the membranous tissues covering internal organs and other tissues surface like the blood vessels and the nerves and once the pathogen derived protein molecules and the strange ductile metallic elements become part of the body they begin to compromise its structural composition and the integrity of the body's microbiome the microbiome is a bacteria so that's in the gut did you know that 80% of your immune system is in your tummy? 80% of your immune system resides in your belly. Nowhere else. So if you protect here, you protect everywhere else. God uh, good and bad, <laughs> bad um, bacteria. So what I said, the, the microbiome, you, you got these the good bacteria and bad bacteria. And as I said, there's no such thing as good bacteria and bad bacteria. I'm just using the picture because that's what's here. But there's no good bacteria or bad bacteria. There are bacteria that should be seven feet tall and bacteria that should be four feet tall. If the four feet tall becomes seven feet, it's going to cause the seven feet to become four feet. And you don't want that. When you have that, then you have trouble. So we need both those bacteria in the body because God placed them there. But one can be more pathogen pathogenic than the other. And one have a beneficial effect more than the other. But they are both needed. Make sense? Just like I have LDLs and HDL. LDL is needed, HDL is needed. But LDL is made out to be a villain, correct? But it is needed. But it's the proportion that is in that makes the difference. So 
Now as the body is constantly being bombarded with the awful pro-inflammatory Western diet, bacterial endotoxin, endotoxin I'll explain a little bit, uh, from animal products, environmental pollutants, like the, the toxicant that we saw in mercury and so forth, medications, and this is one of them, culprit, medications. Quickest way to get leaky gut, medications and other virulent adjuvants, it creates an imbalance between the levels of, although this now, non-pathogenic, gram-positive bacteria with their probiotic characteristics and the low levels of pot potentially pathogenic, gram-negative bacteria in which we see a reduction and displacement of the non-pathogenic, gram-positive bacteria by the proliferation of the pathogenic Gram I know there's a lot of pathogenic and gram this and gram that, but basically what I'm saying is that the gram negative should be low and the gram positive should be high, but because of our eating habit, our lifestyle, it causes these gram negative to proliferate and overcome the gram positive and thus you're in great trouble. Why do you think they make yogurt with bacteria in it? Because they're trying to repopulate your, your, your gut with the bacteria. Why do you think they sell probiotic? Mm -hmm. They will do everything to make a market and to sell a product. Mm -hmm. You don't need to take private probiotic. God never... Genesis chapter 1. What did God give us to eat? Fruits, nuts, and grains. Full stop. Sin came, God said, okay, I add to it vegetables. So you don't need to be eating any bacteria. Nonetheless, they do help to an extent. But you don't need to be eating bacteria. You have what is known as prebiotic. Prebiotic or your roughage. They will feed the bacteria and repopulate them. But if you don't have your roughage, then you're in trouble. Your vegetables, your fiber, insoluble fibers and soluble fibers. And meat don't have them. Only plant-based. This, yeah. this I have come to understand to be one of the leading causes of excess pro-inflammatory cytokines in the blood, plasma, and in the different cellular compartments, especially in the digestive system. The death of gram-negative bacteria and the release of the lipid component of the complex lipopolysaccharides, now that is what is referred to as endotoxin. So what actually happens in the body, you have the bacteria, the gram-negative bacteria, when they die, they release, they have an outer container that protects them. When they die, they release what is called lipopolysaccharides. And the lipopolysaccharides is also referred to as endotoxins. And what it does, it can cross over any part of your body. It doesn't need help from anything. It just goes straight into your bloodstream. It doesn't have to go through the village. It just can cross through the the membrane, whether it uses diffuses, um, diffusion, or whatever, but it is able to cross over and go into your bloodstream. Now, going into your bloodstream, it triggers the immune system to attack them because the immune system knows that it's not from you, it knows it's foreign. And so that is why you find a lot of people with their body always inflamed. They have fibromyalgia, affect the lungs, they have pneumonia. These are all inflammation, inflammatory problems. And if you check them, they're all bacteria related. If it's not the actual bacteria themselves, it is particles from the bacteria like the lipopolysaccharides that are there. And it triggers the immune system. So all the immune system is actually doing is trying to protect you, it's trying to get rid of something. So it's not attacking you. It's just trying to protect you. It says at complex lipopolysaccharides, the outer leaflet and their membrane, which crosses the gut wall and enter the bloodstream and tissue. This is what elicits strong immune responses and causes what the medical fraternity refer to as autoimmunity, like in the case of people who suffer lupus. A person who suffers lupus, heart, liver, kidney, every part of them in a problem. Every part. All because those things are floating around in their body. <coughs> Additionally, over time, 
All of the above mentioned puts the digestive system in a state of inflammation, which causes an opening in the tight junctions of the wall of the small intestine, thus making it hyperpermeable. Now, when the intestinal walls, which serve as a filtration system and an auxiliary defense for the body, becomes hyperpermeable, it refers to the passing of toxin and other large molecules like partially digested food from inside the gastrointestinal tract into the bloodstream through the breach within the intestinal wall. So that's a good picture. So that's your villi and, and, and the endothelial cell with the villi on top. So when you eat your food, it goes into that, those little shark like living things. So one of them might take in calcium, one might take in potassium, one might take in protein and so forth. They take in different minerals, different nutrients. Now let's say these first three that you have there is in the small intestine. Now some foods do not go through the small intestine, they wait till they reach further down to the large intestine. So, but what happened, because you have a breach, the foods that should be making their way to the largest large intestine slip through. Mm -hmm. Now when it slip through, what your body, the brain, get a signal, hey, we got something in here that it's protein, we know it's protein, but it can't do anything because the protein must first be turned into amino acids in order for it to do anything in the body. But it's undigested protein, so you got pieces of food with chains of amino acids still tied on together. And so the brain said, I can't use that. Somebody get rid of it. Brain sends out a message. Who goes after it? The immune system. The immune system goes and remember, they can remember what you look like. And so they look and they say, oh, this amino acid says, the protein sequence and it says, Marvel, Rodney Perkins, <coughs> all right? I know you. And it attacks it. For all your life you've been eating, that particular protein, let's use the example of milk. We all drank milk at some point in our life, correct? Whether it be breast milk, cow's milk, sheep milk, goat milk, we all drank some milk. And so, the body now sees that protein that comes from the milk, let's say casein, and it's now looking at it because it's undigested, it's now looking at it as a threat. So what you find now, for those who have all these allergens, that if you eat this and eat that, something's wrong. What you find, you have leaky gut. So each time you now eat or drink milk or eat a peanut, it slips through, the body just attack it. And so you can't eat peanut anymore. You can't drink milk anymore. Why? Because the immune system just away. Come through now. <laughs> so as it comes, you just attack it. And you're, you are feeling the problem. But all it's actually doing is protecting you. And they call it autoimmunity. That's all it's actually doing. Now, here lies the pathogen, pathogenesis of autoimmune disease like MS, ADHD, diabetes, type 1, lupus, rheumatic fever, rheumatic arthritis, and many other chronic illness. Believe it or not, vaccination with the exogenic forces intestinal hyperpermeability, which is leaky gut syndrome, and an imbalanced microbiome, which leads to subclinical levels of bacterial endotoxin, which is the lipoparasaccharide, give rise to a large group of degenerative illness like autoimmune disease. All the autoimmune diseases. Now, what determines, because now you're probably thinking, okay, I have leaky gut, you have leaky gut, you have leaky gut. So how comes I have MS and you have lupus and you have... Why? Why we don't have all MS? Why we don't have all lupus? Why we don't have all rheumatoid arthritis? Here's why. What determines the type of autoimmune dis disorder one develops is where the molecular mimicry or the cross-reactive reactivity occurs in the body. I'll explain that. If it takes place in the surface of the connective tissues of the joints, facing the bloodstream, you will develop arthritis. What do I mean? So let's say you have the casein, which is from the milk, and the casein 
Protein sequence says Marvin Rodney Perkins. The immune system traveling, just going around doing its rounds, just looking. And then all of a sudden, pass in your joints, the knees, or the elbow, or the hip. It sees on the cartilage or a tissue near that area. Marvin Rodney Perkins go. Because remember, you are what you eat. So what you eat now has become a part of your tissue. Does it make sense? So the immune system, remember, is looking for Marvin Van der Perkins. But it's not, it's seeing a partial, it's only seeing part of Marvin Van der Perkins written on you. But it remembers that. Along with all the other parts, which it, it doesn't see as a threat. But it, it, it identified that Marvin Van der Perkins sequence, because the protein sequence is a long chain. So, but that portion, it remembers, and it says that portion should not be in here, because I was sent off it by the brain, and so I must get rid of it. And it's there. Come out. Come out. <laughs> and you keep feeling the inflammation going back there. That's all it is. It's not a brain science. If I can understand it, you can. <laughs> So what you look look here now, you see, um, I don't like calling some of these numbers, streptococcal um, cell wall. So you find the plasma cell, which is what produces the, the, the antibodies. So the antibody, you know rheumatoid, rheumatoid, rheumatic fever, right? Yes. And you know rheumatic fever can lead to heart disease. <coughs> and the reason the rheumatic fever leads to heart disease is this. So this is the reason you get Rheumatic fever, a normal, simple fever that should go away, turn into a heart problem, damages the aorta and the aortic valve, or the mitral valve. And then you have to put in some false one, and every 10 years you have to change it. And the bill, I don't even want to know what it is. So what happened, the antibodies now, the molecular mimicry is simple meaning me posing as Patrick. So do you have bacteria and, 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 and viruses are that skin? Remember, the scripture tells us that Jesus planted good seeds and the worker came back and said, Master, how come you have tears growing? He said, an evil one planted it. So anything that is harmful to your body is a counterfeit of the devil. Yes. So when you have these harmful things mimicking, it says it, the devil comes as an angel of light. So these, <laughs> these things come as angel of light and they trick, try to trick the body. And so they change their, 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 their position and they try to hang out in the area where they look like the things that are there. And so they go into the heart, and you have what is called the cross-reactivity, the molecular mimicry, because the tissue in the heart looks like the bacteria that they were hunting down, because of the poly lipopolysaccharides. Remember, the lipopolysaccharides can, be, can go into your tissue and stay there. The lipopolysaccharides, those are from the bacteria. When the bacteria die, they produce lipopolysaccharides. The lipopolysaccharides goes into any part of the tissue, and then when it goes there, the immune cell is trying to get rid of it because it recognizes the bacteria and it recognizes the lipopolysaccharides. So it's trying to destroy the bacteria and the lipopolysaccharides, but as a result, because it's in your flesh, it's destroying you. But who causes lipopolysaccharides to be in the body? I sound like I'm selling a car. What's the one, one, two, one, two, one, two? <laughs> So, that's basically what happened. So you have to be careful of what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Remember, yes, you can get little polysaccharides from, from vegetables because if they're not grown and they're not washed properly, those things can be on it. But the meat, you can't kill it. You could cook it as good as you want. <laughs> it's still going to be in it. And when you eat it, and if you're eating it regularly, Please, I'm begging you. 
Believe what I'm saying. Yeah, yes, yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 I shall not forget you in the bar, sorry. I, I love you so much. I believe that when I get to his age, that's exactly what I'm going to be. I love you. Right. Now, the reason for this is because there is a sequence of structural similarity, homology, shared between the bacteria, <laughs> cell, wall, and the tissues within the heart. You see what I'm saying? So the bacteria and the tissues in the heart share similarity. And it's called a protein sequence. And it's called molecular mimicry. So because the bacteria looks like the tissues of your heart, because the food you've been eating full of bacteria, mm -hmm. you eat it, it makes up your flesh, you can't have good flesh. And your immune system sees it as, hey, this is a transplanted tissue. Yeah. I don't want it in here. And it tries to get rid of it. That's why anybody who gets transplanted tissue you have to take immune suppressants. Yes. Because the immune system will kill them. And that's what is happening. It's not that the immune system wants to kill you. The immune system knows it's not supposed to be there. It's not my liver, so the immune system don't want it. It's not my kidney, the immune system don't want it there. So you have to be taking these drugs for the rest of your life. But you're not taking drugs, you're, you're eating drugs. Did you know food is very addictive? Yes. And meat is sometimes even worse than cocaine. As a matter of fact, sugar is sometimes even worse than cocaine. You can be high in sugar, you might not get the high, like all them they go, mm. but it is thick. I'm going to show you. Carry on. So we see why, why all of that happened. You understand that so far? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell me my sister. So what you see here now, there are four things that I believe are in play in the problem that we're going through. The first one is the endogenic stressors, such as the genetic vulnerability. You can't do nothing about that. I am a part of my father, and I am a part of my mother. My good looks is because of my father, and my good behavior is because of my mother. In that order. <laughs> now, the ubiquitous, exogenic, environmental variable, variables, I use those words just for the scientific people who love the question and think that I don't understand what I'm saying, I don't understand what I'm saying. But it simply means, Things that are everywhere. You can't get rid of, you can't get away from your atmosphere. What's in it is in it, and you can't get away from it. A friend at church suffers with lupus, and he works at the gas station. <coughs> and that's the worst thing you could ever do. Because every time he, he plumps, he's inhaling lead, he's inhaling mercury, because that's what they used to make the gas. They mix it with it. And every time he goes to work, he ends up in the hospital. Wow. And he has to leave the, he has to quit the job. He has to quit. And the church now supports him. Glory to God for that. Amen. Amen. But he has not reunited for four years. Oh, no. What did I say? He has not urinated for four years. Because they told him, do not drink water. Because he's going to put too much pressure on you, kidney. Do not take potassium. Gonna, you don't want to get hyperkalemia. And so he listened to them. And for four years, he's just been taking dialysis. I think, I think he's, it's free for him. Because he's going to come out now. So it's free. I, I, I suppose. I hope he's not paying. So the tolerance, after all these things happen, then you have the bacterial endotoxin, which is the same lipopolysaccharide, and then you have, which is the bacteria dying and releasing the lipopolysaccharide. The lipopolysaccharide goes into your bloodstream and trigger the immune response. Then you have the leaky gut, the opening of the gut, that causes anything and everything to go inside your gut, into your bloodstream that should not, because there should be a tight junction filtering what goes in and what comes out. And this by doing all this, the tolerance of the body breaks down. And as the tolerance of the body breaks down, the tissues in the heart is destroyed by the pathogen derived peptides. And peptide is just another. You break down to amino acid, pe pe peptides and amino acid, it's all protein. OK? 
Okay? Now, did you know that to protect us, the immune cells make five types of immunoglobin that function as antibodies for different responses in the different areas in the body? God is, God is amazing, isn't it? Yes, yes. God is so amazing. Yes. My yes. goodness. <laughs> so, the body makes five different types of antibodies for different areas of the body. So you see it here, you got the IgA, so they call it. Men love to give name to everything. <laughs> yeah, and God allowed us to do that, because Adam named the creatures, didn't he? Yeah. So nothing's wrong with that. But sometimes some of them get so big-headed, they even give their name. Eyes let off longer horn. Yeah. That's somebody's name, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Then you have um, the IgA, IgA, and this is the main isotope in the mucous epithelium. That means the, the cell that lines the different tissues that produce mucus, especially in the intestine as you see here, and in the respiratory tract. So in the respiratory tract, you have a lot, yeah, there should be a level of mucus to protect you when you inhale stuff, irritants, it doesn't go any further, and same way in the gut, in the gut as well, right? Then you have um, the IgE, which, which bond, um, bound by receptors and mast cells in the connective tissues of those are, so people with trouble with arthritis will produce more of those IgE. Mm -hmm. So just by doing that sort of test, which they do, they do have these sort of tests, they call it allergen tests. When they're testing you for allergies, this is what they have to look for, to know what, what well, a good doctor would look for, to know what is wrong with you. So if a person suffers with arthritis, they would have IgE a lot produced in their body, because it's created to protect that area. Okay, follow what I'm saying so far? Yes. Then you have um, the Ig, IgG, which is in the blood and the extracellular fluid plasma and so forth. And then you have the IgD, IgM, which is um, mainly found in the blood as well and in the um, lesser degree in the lymphatic um, fluid. And then you have the IgD, which is in the plasma membrane and the different areas, which is like the immune, immature B lymphocytes. And each antibody reacts only, as we discussed before, to the intruder that it was produced to attack. So what it does, yeah, the antibody there, I love pictures, it makes it learn easier. Antibody, that was the Hawaii things, pathogen, latch onto them, bring them together so they can be destroyed by the inactive um, complement protein that attaches itself to the antibody and then just come around and burst the cell. The body can fight for itself. You just need to provide what it needs to fight. You have a child. The child can't fend for itself. As parents, it is your duty to provide what the child needs to grow up and to become what God intended them to be, right? All your job is to just train up a child in the way you should go. Provide for them all the necessities that you can afford. But the most important thing is a knowledge of who God is. It's the same thing you have to do with your body. I said it before, treat the cells like little people. And if you think like that, You'll be alright. <clears throat> now, <laughs> factors involved in MS and other autoimmune disease. Number one, low mineral reserves. The gentleman, by the name of Dr. Sebi, who passed away, rather, the yeah. killing. <laughs> had some of his product, and one of them is, um, I forgot the name of it, but it's something to do with iron. And he used like um, yellow duck and sarsaparil and burdock root and bilberries to make that product. It's a liquid one. And a gentleman was sick and very lethargic, and he gave him a bottle and told him to take like a <laughs> two, two tablespoons. The gentleman took off the whole bottle. <laughs> and when he dropped the whole bottle, however, it was a valuable lesson for Dr. Sebi, and it was beneficial to the man. No harm to it was done to him. The two tablespoons that he was supposed to be drinking would not have done him any good. Because his mineral reserve was low. So by drinking that one bottle, it brings up 
his mineral reserve, and he was full of energy. And from that day, Dr. Seven never recommend two tablespoons. He recommend one bottle each day. <laughs> <laughs> because he, he, he recognized what is happening. That's how you learn. It could have gone the other way, but it was beneficial. So that's how you learn. Look, experiment, try on yourself. As I told you before, I use myself and my wife as my guinea pig. <laughs> And sometimes my sister and my niece. <laughs> and I might start with when. <laughs> now, uh, so what do you find? Mineral reserve. How important is mineral? Very, very important. Very, very, very important because they are what keeps the body to be able to produce electricity. Without the proper apportionment of minerals in the body, you won't get the proper electricity, especially for those who suffer with MS, because electricity cause MS is an electric problem. You ever wonder why you have this electric wire with another wire over it? No, it's not, it's not necessarily for protection. It's to cause the electricity to travel faster. That's why. It causes electricity to drive, go faster. So when you have the, ele the, 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 the myelin sheet, that covers the, the nerve cells, eat, eat in a way, electricity slows down. Mm -hmm. The person starts to slow down. The mitochondria start to have problems. But when you have it, the neurons and everything are firing. Remember from the picture last night we saw in the brain? Mm -hmm. The neurons and all those things start to fire properly. And these are what help to do it. It says, a considerable number of scientists and doctors have verified that a diet high in Acid forming foods such as animal protein, dairy products, sugar, refined foods, alcohol, tea, and coffee puts pressure on the liver, kidneys, lungs, and the nuts to maintain pH neutrality, which in turn depletes some of the most prominent minerals in the body, such as the calcium, the potassium, the magnesium, the sodium, and the iron, and other trace minerals. Deficiency in the minerals cited above throws the body out of equilibrium, for they are also its most alkaline minerals that aid in the elimination of excess water, hard mucus, arteriosclerotic plaque, crystallized extracellular fluid, toxins, and solidified decaying fecal matter to provide an optimum nutritional environment wherein pH, pH level will be equilibrium equilibrated. So one can see how in the case of MS, motor neurons conducting impulses outwards from or inwards to the brain or spinal cord become affected simply because when water and mineral salts are lost out of the basic molecular structure within the body, the electrical flow will be altered and the force required to transmit electrical impulses through ion chemicals which are the different uh, uh, channels the ions would be like potassium saving the forms ion in the central and peripheral nervous system from one nerve cell to another will also be altered thus the person becomes subject to chronic progressive disorder of the entire nervous system And that's to do with the low mineralism. Believe it or not, an alkaline diet rich in deep, cleansing, soluble and insoluble fiber, pure drinking water, oxygenated chlorophyll, phytochemicals, minerals and vitamins which will help the body to heal itself. For most diseases like arteriosclerosis, arthritis, coronary artery, artery disease, cancer, diabetes, autism, multiple sclerosis, lupus, high blood pressure, kidney failure, and liver disease are all associated with low pH level. That is why you always hear about alkaline and base are acidic. Alkaline diet will keep you in good shape. Low pH, so that's the next thing that leads to you becoming a person suffering with artery, artery immunity. If the blood is too acidic, that means the potential of hydrogen ions in the blood is low. Blood pH is measured at on a scale of 0 to 14. The 
positively charged ions, acid forming ion that is, or the negatively charged ions like the alkaline forming ones of solution work where 7 is neutral and greater than 7 is more basic, <coughs> alkaline, and less than 7 is more acidic. In order to prevent an impairment of health or any condition abnormal function, function of the physiology of the body and cellular met metabolism, human blood needs to have a slightly alkaline concentration in gram atoms per liter between 7.35 to 7.45. That's if you go here, especially, you're heading for cancer. The stomach and different parts of the body have different acid level. That's the stomach between one and two. It's supposed to be that way, that's fine. And that's where you have a problem. People suffer with, what do you call it? Acid reflux. Mm -hmm. They're quick to take an antacid, correct? Mm -hmm. Wrong. So why would you don't take an antacid? Because by taking the antacid, you're changing the pH of the, the gastric acid. So an antacid will move the pH from a two to a three, four, or probably sometimes five. Some people already take it. What that means now, for your food to be digested, you need a strong pH mm -hmm. in the acid region. So if you take an acid and then you're eating, your food won't digest. Because alkaline can't digest the food. It has to be acidic. So you have been told something completely reverse. Yeah. You see, oh, we, oh. Sabbath morning, everybody come, please. <laughs> it's, the subject will be discussed about being a Nazarite. A Nazarite is someone who God separated and set aside for a special work. And to be a Nazarite, you can't be an ordinary man. Samson was not an ordinary man, but he wanted to be an he wanted to live an ordinary life. And he got him into trouble. A Christian must not be an ordinary man. We are set apart. We are called to show forth what? The glory of God. We must be a spectacle to the world for the glory of God. And so we have to re-educate ourselves. So, not knocking anybody, please understand the point I'm trying, I'm trying to exalt God. So all that we have learned is just mere forms of man education. You get a PhD, you get a good salary, you get a big house, but you really don't know nothing. You really don't know nothing because Israel, everybody in Israel have taught these things. That is why, and I will always say that is why Daniel was able to stand up and his friends stood up with him. Because they were taught these things from their childhood. You think you can just get up and stand, stand for Jesus if you weren't living for Jesus before? Yeah. Doesn't work. Can't happen. It's impossible. You think Zacchaeus just get up and say, okay, I'm going to give away half, repair the people that I, that I got four times. Energy wise, Zacchaeus was planning to do that a long time. Yes. So if you're not planning to do things, and if you're not practicing the little things, you'll never do the big things. Sure. So please, listen to these things. And after I am gone, please don't go back to your whole life. Mm. Moses warned the children of Israel that after I am gone, I want to go rebel, I want to go to this. I'm asking you, after I am gone, do not go back to your own life. Don't come out here for just listen to somebody sounding so nice. Take the information, put it into practice, change your life for the glory of God. Amen. Whenever the body is in an acidic condition, for whatever reason, let us say a high protein diet consists of animal products, the, di the direct function Functional responses in the human body to correct the pH range is to go through a process called bone reabsorption. 
by which certain cells called osteoclasts, we looked at that before, that functions in the breakdown and reabsorption of bone tissue, release calcium from the bone into the blood to change its pH. So people who suffer osteoporosis, that's what got it. Because the body is acidic and the main thing the body uses along with the sodium bicarbonate to change the pH of the body is to release calcium from the bone. And by releasing the calcium from the bone to clean up the mess that you have made, you now become having osteoporosis. That's how it's that's it. So by you telling doctor tell you, oh take some calcium pill. You take the calcium pill, it's like you have a punch of tiny teeth put in here in it. It's not gonna do anything. Because it's just gonna come back out. Oh, you're not fixing the problem. Over time, if the blood pH remains outside the acceptable range, it will lead to a deficiency of the body's foremost acid neutralizer, neutralizer, which are sodium bicarbonate, as I mentioned before, potassium bicarbonate, magnesium um, glycinate, and calcium citrate, along with all the other ionic compounds. So, now, you might have buy a calcium tablet, and it says calcium carbonate, as long as you have calcium, the body will change it to whatever other calcium it needs. As long as you have potassium, the body will convert it to whatever other potassium is needed. As long as you have phosphorus, the body will do what it needs to do with it. You don't have to worry about buying that particular. It's only a way of helping you in a ther therapeutic sense to, to get better quickly in the sense that um, you will provide something that is missing. But if you have the patience and to want to just if you can't afford it to buy these supplements, just eat your food and do a lot of juicing. Miss um, a few meals every, every now and then in the week. I can't afford these things. I told you before. A bottle costs $7,000 in Jamaica. And so I get very creative and make my own. I find out what plant has high potassium, what and when I say plant, I'm not talking the expensive vegetables. I go and look for the cheapest things, the season where you cook with. The season that you cook with have more nutrients than the food that you eat. Mm -hmm. And so I buy them. It's my sister there. And I buy them, and I powder them if I don't have them in powder farm. And I put them in capsule. Sometimes my niece used to help me when we were in the UK. And if I can't, I just take them and dash my mouth and drink my water and grab all the business. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> now, it says calcium, along with all the other ionic compounds and water, resist blood pH changes in the body. Thus causing the proteins in our blood and cell membrane to undergo denaturation. Now, denaturation is a process in which the strong <coughs> acidic condition of the body alters the normal folded pattern of the proteins and nucleic acid three-dimensional structure, the quaternary structure, tertiary structure, and the secondary structure. Remember I explained about um, Parkinson's disease, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, Parkinson's disease is exactly what happened, that the denaturing of the protein, and so they coagulate together. Because it changes the folding. Let's say it should fold, all right, that's my type. It should fold this way. You following me? Please look. Let's say the protein should fall this way. When you have the denaturing of the proteins, they fall that way, and they fall that way, and they fall that way. You put yourself in trouble. That's why you have Parkinson's disease. I explained it before. It's a simple disease to get rid of. But they're not. I'm a simple person, but I'm not a simple man. <laughs> I read the Bible and the writings of Ellen G. White, and I showed you how I found out about the underlying cause of Parkinson. I showed it to you from Ellen G. White writing, where she said, anything that affects the, the brain starts in the gut. And so I went searching scientific research, and I found it. So how are these people not finding it? How do they know, but they just don't want it? Now the misfolding of the protein structure creates new and recognizable dangerous. The misfolding of the protein structure creates new and recognizable molecules in our body that results in disruption of all malfunction of 
the cell activity and possibly cell death because they elicit strong immune response. So when they are not folded as how they should be folded, the immune system do not recognize them anymore because they're not, they're not the same. Because they're, they're, they're changed. Next one, high blood sugar levels. One Saturday evening, my teacher took me, and that is God, and explained to me that having high levels of sugar in the blood over time leads to neuropathy. Mm. Yes, sir. That's true. So a lot of people who suffer with diabetes, yes, sir. having high levels of sugar in the blood leads to neuropathy. And I'm going to tell you exactly how. So you can be eating between meals, or even if you don't eat between meals and you have high blood sugar, I'll show you exactly how it happens. Thus said the Lord, who formed all the members of our being perfectly, having high levels of sugar within the blood beyond the regular time, either through overeating or snacking, leads to abnormal sugar and protein amalgamation on the surface of our cells, creating what is known as advanced glycation end product. And every immune cell has a receptor for age. Advanced glycation end product. Now, Tissues that the white blood cells innate recognition ability does not identify as self because it is a new material that has been chemically modified through your eating habits. That's how sugar is dangerous. Sugar, and not just sugar as in just a table sugar, but sugar by you having too much in your bloodstream when it should not be in your bloodstream can cause the immune system to attack your body because when the sugar and the protein comes together it creates a new molecule and the immune system do not know that molecule and the immune system attack it wherever it sees it in your tissue so when you hear do not eat between meals it's not even a pee we are all guilty of it but it is dangerous Where am I? Advanced. 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 That's basically a, a sequence of what actually takes place. So you have it there, and you see how they come together, and they come together until the age come in, and your immune system just acts like your body. Now, as age molecules become completely integrated within the body systems, over time it affects the small blood vessels that supply the nerve cells with blood, oxygen, and nutrients. So that's why you get the new neuropathy. And what it does is it narrows the the nerves, enough oxygen is not going there, nutrients not going there, and so that's why you feel the pain, enough electricity not going there, that's why you feel the pain within the legs for diabetic neuropathy as well as just normal neuropathy. So therefore, just by, you have people who, 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 who treat it, as I mentioned to you before, you have what is called functional medicine, and as doctors who use natural remedies, they would get their, their, their patient to fast for all three days or ten days, and during the three days, all the arthritic pain that they used to feel, gone. Mm -hmm. it, they're not cured, but it takes over the pain. Because as long as there's no food in the stomach, there's no inflammation going on. Because there's nothing there to feed inflammation. Mm -hmm. And so, they now, tell, they now from there, tell them, okay, eat this, eat that. And so they're making their changes, and slowly they recover. So, autoimmune disease are being cured, left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. Many people, lupus, Things. It says, moreover, the inflammatory onslaught against them from the immune system does great damage to the myelin that form the medullary sheath around some nerve fibers, which enable them to send clear electrical impulses faster and more effectively along the cell axis. As a result, fewer electrical impulses, blood, oxygen, and nutrients reach the nerve cells and pathology of the peripheral nerves sets in. And that's for people who suffer with um, MS. So you see here, just giving an example of in Jesus normally used 
nature or natural things to explain spiritual things. So here you have a pipe, piping system, and you have the insulation. That's the pipe itself right there, as you can see the neighbor, and the insulation, and then the mass loaded vinyl over it. That's what the nerve cell that has myelination looks like. And the reason for it, it protects, the holes protect the piping, and they also increase the speed of electricity. And so, when the mining sheet comes off, electricity slows down. Now, mining is greatly needed because it acts as an insulating material to prevent the loss of electricity from the nerve fiber surrounding the spinal cord, just like how builders use logging to reduce the transmission of heat or sound or electricity from the building. Natural things to explain spiritual things or biological things. Now, low carbohydrate. This world is crazy. One minute you hear one, one new diet come out and everybody jump on it, and then another diet come out and everybody jump on it, and another diet come out and everybody jump on it. And they, will, and they always catch us and take our money. Another supplement come out and we'll run by it. When all you need to do is just stop and think and change your life. Change your eating habits. Change your lifestyle in general. You don't need a diet, you need a lifestyle change. Amen. Yes. Diet makes you lose weight, bam, and you look good. But it comes back. A lifestyle change requires discipline. A Christian yes. does a lifestyle change. Yeah. So no carbohydrate intake. It's very dangerous. So people are misinformed about that carbohydrate is harmful. You have fake carbohydrates and you have sensible real carbohydrates. What do I call fake carbohydrates? The white flour, the pastry and all those stuff. And as you eat them, the McDonald's and the Burger King, you, you have to run and <coughs> go get something again. The cereals, the empty cereals, the cornflakes, all those. No good. Get some old corn meal porridge. <laughs> <laughs> go back to grassroots. <laughs> Do you know that? Yes, disease exists. People are still dying from disease. But at some point, heart attack was only for old people? Yes. yes. Now people are 24 getting heart attack? Yes. Diabetes was only for elderly people? No children getting diabetes? Yes. Some disease was only for old people? Now it's for everybody. Yes. And why? Because of eating. We become a fast moving world and we want to make the money and we're not realizing the danger that will impact our lives. So you have um, researchers have shown that when when we continually consume a low carbohydrate diet, it causes an increase in the steroid hormone cortisol. We talk about that. What is cortisol? It's a growth hormone. A growth hormone, okay. Which generates endogenous glucose mainly in the liver through a metabolic process called glycogenesis. Now, using non-carbohydrate material like pyruvic acid, lactic acid, and glycogenic amino acids and glycerol from lipids to provide fuel for the cell. Because you're not giving the, the main thing that our body uses for energy is carbohydrate. Protein can use for energy, Fat can use for energy, but the main thing the body uses is carbohydrate. Now, fat will give you more energy than carbohydrate, but its answer still don't change. Carbohydrate is what God gives us to use for energy. Now, when you take protein and use protein for energy, the body converts the protein. The body loves store protein, so you have to what excess that is that is there. You have to re-change that. But, and the process that it goes through create ammonia, uric acid, and all that builds up into the body and leads to all the arthritis and all those things that you 
You see that you see all swelling on the rheumatic people? That's a uric acid. So now it says, the metabolic effect that a constant low carbohydrate diet has on the body is that the high levels of cortisol it generates suppresses the immune system and creates immune dysfunction that leads to various inflammatory disease and allergies. So when you have a low carbohydrate because you want to keep your 16 year old figure, <laughs> you're setting yourself up for your 80 year old dead. <laughs> in your 16 year old figure. <laughs> they have what is called cellular aging. They test you according to your cells to know how old you are based on your on a cellular level. So a, a person who is 70 can have a 14 year old, just get an example, a 14 year old body. In, internally that is. Yes. They might look like 70, but internally they are physically fit. And a person who looks like 14 can have a 70 year old body inside. On a cellular level, and that is the most important part. Because if you have a good internal, you're gonna feel good. Yes. So don't try to look good. Feel good. Be good in Christ. Yes. The next thing is low phytochemicals in the diet. Remember we looked at that before. Or we need to breast cancer when you have low phytochemicals. It's not estrogen per se that um, fire. They they they're trying to villainize estrogen in order to make money. So it's not that estrogen, you have estrogen and you have phytoestrogen. Phytoestrogen, phyto is Greek and it means plant estrogen. That the body actually needs to downregulate your own estrogen and cause and preventing breast cancer and prostate cancer. Remember we looked at it before? Too much estrogen in the body cause breast cancer, too much estrogen in the body cause prostate cancer. And what you can do, you can eat up your flax seeds, your chia seeds, all those uh, omega-3 stuff as well, but they also have lignans, which lignans function as the same thing like a irregular um, phytoestrogen. You can eat up your cruciferous vegetables, because the cruciferous vegetables help the liver and it flushes out the estrogen in the cervix and all those things. So those foods are very important for the body. Take for example, phytoestrogen, plant estrogen like isoflavonoids. Although these plant estrogens are quite similar in chemical structure to the estrogenic hormone found in the human body, they are different and have only half the receptor de dependent transcriptional power. That means the power that the, your own estrogen will have that can be harmful if it's too high, this will take its place on the receptors, the alpha or the beta receptor, but it in more inclined to the better receptors as we discussed before to downregulate so it's weaker so it's beneficial more than harmful now what human estrogen looks like that's all this what it looks like and that's what isoflavin which comes from soy looks like and remember we showed you the receptors how they fit in the same way but they function differently right so this, this similarity is not by chance. God designed plant estrogen to that way, that way so that when they are ingested as we eat foods like fruits, nuts, seeds, grains, vegetables, and especially flax seeds and germ-free soybeans, they will compete with the normal estrogenic hormone in the human body to bind to estrogen receptor. And as a result, don't regulate your estrogen um, growth and keep you in a safe place. It helps with why do you think when some people go through hot flashes, they take the, the different uh, supplements and it helps them? It works. Because they, 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 what do you call it? The red clover, the sage, the black cohash, the blue cohash. They work. There are two types of estrogen receptors in the human body. Alpha and beta receptors, and they are located within the brain, the breast, the cardiovascular system, the bone, the eugenital tract, liver, and gut. Of the two receptors, beta receptors are the greater in numbers in the areas within the body where estrogen hormone is required the most, such as in the bone to prevent bone loss, which we just look at causing. Remember, calcium is the main thing that makes up the bone, correct? Yeah. 
But look at calcium as just cement. Calcium need a, a builder. You cannot buy a bag of cement and, 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 and put it on and, and, and your house will <laughs> You have to have a builder to take up the cement, mix the marker, and put it on. So calcium is just cement. Can't do anything except a builder. The builder is estrogen. Estrogen lifts up the calcium, puts it in the bone, let it do, do, do it work, and stay there to prevent Gilbert from come blow it down. <laughs> no, because it, it prevents osteoclast. It prevents it from coming down. So that's how important estrogen is to the body. We discussed that before, um, so let's keep. It is the, to the better receptors that plant estrogen now and show a greater affinity. When binding to estrogen receptors, conversely, normal estrogen hormone is not selective. It binds both to alpha and beta estrogen receptors without showing preference. However, the selectiveness shown by the plant estrogen, such as genistein, DHZ, cholesterol, when bind to a beta receptor, estrogen receptor, is an innate chemical reaction that serves to boost the regular and regulate normal mammalian estrogen levels and act and activity in the body, especially in women, to stimulate the growth of healthy osteoblasts and cells from the body developed by building calcium into the bones and at the same time suppress the growth and proliferation of certain cells called osteoclasts, which takes calcium from the bones and thus prevent inflammatory bone loss. So estrogen, if, you have, if you're suffering from osteoporosis, increase your estrogen. Find foods that are high in estrogen, but they will tell you don't eat it because it's going to lead to breast cancer. Lie. It protects you from breast cancer. Our information has been twisted. Plant estrogen have a protective effect on the entire body, especially the brain, because it increases the concentration and releases the neurotransmitters and slows down their reuptake. That's another way for people who looked at depression last night, who suffered from depression. You take a reuptake drug to slow down how the neurotransmitters go back up. Take some estrogen. It works with the brain, the breasts, the ovaries, the prostate. Even though estrogen is a female hormone, we have it too. Yes. Now, stress. Dangerous. Stress is good. Stress stimulates you to achieve what you want to achieve. But chronic stress, what's the problem? Blood pressure is fine. Because if I run a mile, my blood pressure is going to raise. I'll go eat fast. And then after a while, it might calm down. Because estrogen, um, exercise, causes the body to produce nitric oxide. Nitric oxide causes the blood vessel to dilate. And so it's going to come down after a while. It is written, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit try the bones. Allow me to explain the immunological implication of this passage. Simple meaning, how this and the immune system is related. Remember, what are the stress hormones? Neuroepinephrine, the first hormone that the body releases, and after a period of time, neuroepinephrine wears off, it releases cortisol. And remember we just looked at cortisol is an immune suppressor. So it suppresses the immune system from making you fight off infection and stay healthy. You see? So, and remember, it says a merry heart do it good like a medicine. You know which of the neurotransmitters is known for making our heart merry? It's dopamine. And when you are not merry, it affects dopamine. And when you eat certain foods, it affects dopamine. The Bible, everything is in it. Every single thing is in the Bible. Everything. When the mind perceives a threat, it will process a whole cascade of events within the brain. And as a result, areas of the brain that are involved in emotional behavior 
initiates an emotional response from a part of the brain called the hypothalamus, which in turn, look at, look, look at how each thing is connected together, which in turn triggers a whole different cascade of hormones that can throw into this other cardiovascular system, suppress the production of immune cells, the new neuroendocrine system, and create a physical condition in which there is disturbance of normal function. So one thing, it's a cascade, lead to another. So long before there was any branch of medical science that studied the body's immune system, King Solomon, under divine inspiration, explained how stress destroys the immune system in the scripture. So here you have fatty acid. And we look, I think we had looked at that briefly before. Yes. So here you have the fatty acid and you have the omega-3 and the omega-6. And they're all plant-based. Because though they tell you that fish have omega-3, which they do, EPA and DHA, the fish get hit, it's omega from the plant. Mm -hmm. So when you eat the fish to get the omega-3, you're getting second hand. And they tell you that your body can't produce the EPA and the DHA, so you need to buy the fish. <laughs> You notice know, a lot of people don't drink milk anymore? Yeah. And they try to come back, they keep putting out these commercial gap milk and all this, yeah. try to win back people. Because people realize that milk is too. My auntie is the auntie, babe. We used to have a lot of pussy in it. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have a lot of chat growing up, my, grand, my grandfather. And so, we used to give them the milk. You know that once an animal is weaned from milk, you don't need to give them. We induce the cats to drink milk and it causes the cats to lose their life. And the dogs. We induce them to drink these things. And so we are inducing our children to drink milk. Because if you are a good mother and you breastfeed your child, after a period of time, the child is fine. You don't need to be giving your children milk. Milk is for the cow, or for the goat, or for the sheep. You have your own. Give your child. And as a matter of fact, when the goat drinks the breast milk from the mother, it's building its immunity. You are building your child's immunity. Because in the breast milk, you have monolaurin. And monolaurin is sold on the internet. <laughs> Very expensive. Because it boosts the immune system and it also kills HIV virus. Tested and proven. And how the body, where do we get monolaurin from? Coconut milk and coconut oil. Because it has lauric acid and lauric acid is converted into monolaurin. When you drink the lauric acid, it converts in your body. And the mother has that naturally. So when the mother says, I want to keep the stiffness of, stiffness of my breast and don't want to give the child breast milk, it's a wicked woman. <laughs> You're setting up your children. And another thing that leads to that leads to children developing autoimmune disease and become easily susceptible to infection is C-section. Yes. How? We have what is called a microbiota. The microbiome. In the channel, when the child is coming out, all the bacteria inside the mother will go off on the child yes. and strengthen the child's immunity from that. You, did you know if you take a bee, when the bee is trying to come out of the hive and you pull him out, that bee is going to die? Yes. Did you know that? Yes. So, not because the child don't die when you cut it and take it out, doesn't mean you don't do something harmful to the child. The child must struggle. That's the first step. Fight! to come out. That will develop their strength mentally and physically. That's the last one, right? One of the functions, no, I just explained. Go on. That's it. So, thank you so much. I didn't even, it's not even that time, right? Oh, wow. That's good. I'm out something around. We're going to go to question time after passing. You want to go on? Yes. Yes.
No, I, I wish if I had, I wish if I had learned this thing when I was uh, 15, I'm sure I would have a stomach, and I, I would still go a little taller. <laughs> and, uh, but it's good, isn't it? But the Bible says we are fearful and wonderful. But don't you believe everything? Everything Christ. Everything. Can you leave it in your head? So we're going to bring you back and ask you and answer your question. But put that head somewhere on the board first. Marvin. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Marvin, put that head somewhere on the board first. And, and then I tell you what, I tell you, okay. Why are we doing that thing in our head song? Tell them why. Tell them why we need to give us good offering. This gentleman came all the way from Jamaica. That I could do. Yes, he definitely. We we listen. Powerful. We can't afford to pay for this out there. Amen. Okay, and we have learned a lot. And he and huh? Yeah, and the thing is, God has blessed us yes. to have to be here to hear what He has given Marvin. Yes, he come all the way from Jamaica. Yes, and I know that a lot of times we'll spend money on foolishness. Yes, we'll spend money on things that's not even necessary. And honestly, this kind of information is valuable. So let us let the Holy Spirit impress our hearts, and as the Holy Spirit impresses, let us give accordingly. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. And while we're giving your offering, go ahead. We have a head song that we sing. It, it sings in the form of what? Jingle bell. Jingle bell. And this is how it goes. This is a chorus. Everybody. Head for you. Head for me. Head for all mankind. We live for the heart and live in visions for the land. Yeah. 
nations for life. F for you, F for me, F for all mankind. This our goal, the body, Holy Spirit, flesh and mind. Sunshine and fresh air. Thanks again for everything, for Jesus' sake. Amen. All right, saints. Now you have the opportunity to ask your questions. Yes, um, you said that we, no, first I want to ask. Yes, the in, inoculation stays in you like 40 years. No, I remember okay. I was inoculated in Jamaica. <laughs> And all of us as children had to get that vaccination. That's true. Is that still in us today and will affect us today? It can be still in you, but if you have changed your lifestyle, so because um, I'm sorry, <laughs> it can still be in you. But um, certain foods function as a chelating property that actually draw mercury and lead from your body, like parsley, uh, coriander, and others, others, other stuff, turmeric. And those stuff. They can draw heavy metals from your body. But then if you have filling, just by removing your filling, you give yourself a chance to overcome cancer if you have cancer. Because that contributes to toxins. But also, um, if you're talking about bacteria, is mushroom healthy for us to eat? Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 it's, it's, I don't know everything, but mushrooms are very nutritious and very good for the immune system. It doesn't pose any harm. The only drawback I know of with mushrooms is that it has a small portion of cholesterol, just a minute portion of cholesterol. But besides that, mushrooms, and it depends on the type of mushrooms, medicinal properties, very, very potent. Huh? Is it found in the Spirit of Prophecy of the Bible? No, it, it, the Spirit of Prophecy is mentioned about fungus, and it is mushroom is classed as a fungus because it's not a um, it's not a plant, it's not a vegetable, it's not a fruit. Yeah, so and, and that and Dr. Savi says it's not a fungus. Put a bit of put a bit of mushroom. So, so it, it, it's controversial, and I don't know. Yeah, I mentioned this once before about my sister. My sister has maybe in her lifetime snuck out when she was a teenager and had a couple hamburgers and maybe some chicken or some turkey from my grandmother that they that she snuck. She's been a vegetarian, a, a, a vegan, a vegan. 
no coffee, no tea. Uh, in the last year now, they eat two meals a day, but they've always eaten three. No sugar. We even made fun of her, like, what are you going to fix him for a birthday cake? You know, she makes this ridiculous stuff that is not sweet at all. And, and then she's had, in the last three years, five years now, this polymyalgia, rheumatica, See? supposedly autoimmune disease, and she never, she never did anything diet-wise or health-wise wrong. I'm the one that's done, but not her. So what's the question? Well, what can cause it? You said that it comes from the things that you eat, but she hasn't eaten anything she's not supposed to. Uh, not, not having a go at you, but let me just make a question. Do you follow your sister ever when she goes? No, but I know her fanatical husband. Uh, he didn't even let her have any eggs. One day she came to my house and said, I haven't had an egg in a year and I'm just dying for an egg. Can I have one? I said, yeah, shh, I'll give you an egg. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's just how, no, I don't have to follow. Okay, but the point I'm trying to make, as you saw in, in the presentation, I showed you, not just food, I showed you they your environment. They don't eat do, 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 do they live in this world? Yes. Okay. So as long as they live in this world, they're exposed to the toxins. That, and, and where you live can also play a very, very important part on it. They, they, they're exposed to the mercury. They're exposed to the lead. They're all exposed to it. So, a person might eat a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet, but still become sick. Sickness, disease comes for two reasons. Joe was sick. Joe was righteous. Elisha died of sickness, he was righteous. So, all I can say to you, live as faithful according to the will of God. And if you get sick, leave it to God. Amen. But make sure your soul is well. That's the most thing. Again, next thing. Yes, the person might eat healthily, but bear in mind there are other factors besides the food. Does she exercise? Not since she's had this. She Before? was almost confined to a wheelchair. Before? Yes. Before she used to exercise? Yes. How often? Oh, I don't know. She would go swimming. That was her main exercise. Once a week, twice a day? No, more than that. Okay, so exercise plays a, plays a role. Does, does, does she go out to the sunshine a lot? Yes, she'll lay in the sun for at least a half an hour. Okay, so everything, you have to, you can't just say, you have to take a person and assess the individual to find out, okay, how you've been eating. What, what I would normally do, I would give them a food journal and tell them to write whatever they eat during the week. And if I go to somebody home, I will just go there for, let's say, three days. For the first day, I don't tell them anything. I look how they cook their food, how, what spices they use to cook their food, all those things. I watch, see when they go shopping, watch how they shop. And then afterwards, I tell them, okay, that's wrong. That's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. And I've, and I've gone to vegetarians who tell me, oh, I'm vegetarian. And after I've sat down, gone to the house and, and assessed things, oh, but sometimes eat a little bit of pizza, and sometimes eat a little bit of that. The children then try to come to me and I'm just eating. <laughs> so you have to, you can't swear for anybody. But the point is, even if you eat healthy, it doesn't mean that you can't get sick. The, 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 the responsibility is on you to keep yourself as healthy as possible. Because the Bible charge you that I wish above all that you prosper and be in good health as your soul prosper. But if you live a best to your possibility and you become just give God glory. He says in all things rejoice. When you sick rejoice, when you healthy rejoice. So I don't know everything, Susan. I don't know what caused it. Your, 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 your sister to get her problem. I can't tell you. That's not, I'm not God. No, but she thought maybe you would have some more information I could give her back. No, no but I have not, not sat and talked to her, so I would have to talk to her, not you, because that's second information. That's Chinese whisper. <laughs> a second information. I have a long time problem with my thyroid. And I had different tests. I had biop um, ultrasound biopsy. And um, 
apparently it's working normally, but it's growing. It's getting bigger. So, what's <laughs> you see, this question they throw at you, and they want you to give an answer what caused their specific problem. But should I do that? I'll be a foolish man. But what I can say, however, as far as thyroid is concerned, <coughs> is that um, we should be looked at the video before trans fatty acid messes up the thyroid, so the wrong fats consumed affect how the thyroid function. So if you're consuming the wrong fat, fatty acids, you are setting yourself up for thyroid problems. And if you have high cholesterol, you're also setting up your high cholesterol? No. If it's also it's setting yourself for thyroid. thyroid problem. And if you have problems with the hypothalamus, because the hypothalamus, though they call it the um, penile pituitary gland as the master gland, it's not the master, because it only does things when the hypothalamus tells it to do something. And the pituitary is the one that controls the <coughs> thyroid by releasing hormone and telling it to release it, its own hormone. So fats, as I sh showed you from the Bible, fats are the main thing, the underlying thing that messes up a whole other function in our, Bible, in, in our body. Fat is, a, I showed you, cause of the diabetes. Fat is the cause of, so remember, it goes both ways. Now, consuming too much can cause a problem, and consuming too little can cause a problem. So, you, you might say, oh, I don't have fats. I don't really even fry, but you're not consuming. You need fat. It's a macronutrient your body needs. Protein, fats, and carbohydrate. So, if you don't consume fat, you're in problem too. So, you need it. I do eat some fat. What kind of fat? Mm -hmm. I use, um, no, um, no, 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 right. Okay. Understand. Now, when you think of it, you love fruits, but I, I love fruits, man. What kind of fruits you eat? I eat banana, orange, and mango. Three fruits, and there's so many fruits in the world, and you only eat three fruits. But you love fruits. And there's so many different fat, fatty acids. You got a flax seed. You got a chia seed, you got the coconut oil, you got the red palm oil, you got the hemp seed, but you only use olive oil. Olive oil is one oil and it's monosaturated. Where you have short chain fatty acids, like the coconut and the red palm oil, which functions differently, then you have the omega 3s, the polyunsaturated fatty acids, which function differently. So you need a combination of them, and they sell them in the, in the, in the, in the health food shop. The Udu oils, U D O oils that have a perfect balance of all the plant-based oils that you can purchase and use to help your body to regulate hormones. Because fatty acids, as I showed you before, is what helps the body to regulate better hormone levels. So if you don't have the right proportion of the fatty acids that your body needs, you're going to have a problem with your hormone. And thyroid function is to do with hormone. And thyroid deals with metabolism, and then other hormones deal with growth and all those things. Um, out. Really? Yeah. No. We can't hear. So she's asking if I, if I would recommend taking a consult your doctor and have a good conversation with him, and then you can make your, your choice. Okay, well, talk to God about it, because he's a great physician. Here, amen. Go ahead. Um, due to financial gain in North America, a lot of unnecessary C-sections are being done in North America. And you stated earlier that children that are born via C-section are born at a disadvantage. What are some of the causes that they may have as they get older in life? How many some of the issues that they may, they may have based on that? Based on <coughs> not having that natural uh, birth. Okay, now, because in the U.S. it's automatic for a person to have vaccination except I'm going to school. In the UK it's not automatic. Your know, parents say you can't vaccinate my child, they don't force it. Here, it's, yes, a, it's, it's automatic, yes, it's automatic, it's right? Mandatory. Mandatory. Actually, it's not. Not, not in all states. Not in all states. You could get a, a letter. Well, the you know, I have done this twice with my children because I stopped vaccinating okay. an early child. Yeah. Basically, 
as a Seventh-day Adventist, I, I, I choose religious exemption okay. in the state of Florida and also in the state of Georgia. Go to the health department, say I'm taking religious exemption, take that letter to the school, and your child exempt. exempt. Good. So you do that. So you hear that you can do that for your yeah. children. So as far as um, the C-section is concerned, when your child don't get C-section, the, the microbiota of your child, meaning the bacteria, the flora in the, in the body, is messed up. So the child becomes susceptible, easily to go to. The bacteria is what actually trains your immune system, in case you didn't know. And there are more bacteria in your body than actual cells in your body. So it is important. So it, it sets up yourself, sets up your child for um, deficient immune system. Deficient immune system can lead to a whole host of things. And if they're getting vaccination, then the immune system is already compromised. Now it's even make it worse. But even so, the child can recover from it, even if they've been vaccinated. Because that's stuff that you can it's stuff you can take and it comes out of the body. Stuff like as we mentioned before, you have simple stuff like coriander leaf. Coriander leaf is a natural, natural curating product. It draws toxic metal from your body in two weeks. Just drink it every single day, three times a day. What's the name of that? Coriander. Yeah, yeah. The, powder, the coriander powder is made from the sea. The, the leaves follow, it is what you need to use for the chelation. Seed. Not the seed. The seed, not the seed. The leaves is what you need. The they call it cilantro here, right? Yeah. So it's the same thing. Coriander and cilantro is the same thing. Yeah. So, coriander and cilantro is the same thing, it's just a different, different thing. Shh. Remember we're still in church? Go ahead. I bought the needle of stinging metal. Stinging metal. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I just opened up the lid of it, and the smell of it almost knocked me over. What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what you buy in the health food store is different from if you went out in the yard and no, got it, or it, cleaned it, or boiled it. What would you recommend that you may take with that? Like, I was thinking, I'm going to have to take this without the sauce. I'll never get this done. What do you, what, it's, it's a capsule. What do you, how do you recommend you take it? It's a capsule, right? It's a capsule. So why did you open the capsule? No, I just, I just opened the bottle and, and the bottle smells. smells. But, but when, you, when you take the capsule, you're not going to really taste it. Okay, so you don't, I mean, I'm just trying to make sure it's the same stuff that you recommend. No, it's, it's the same, it's a, yeah, I hope it is the same stuff you went and bought, stinging metal root, it's written on the bottle. Stinging metal root. Yeah, it's written at the bottom. So if that's what it says, then I'm just hoping that's like what it is. Like some medication, they say take it with food. So if you, I don't no, you, know you, 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 you don't have to take it with food. But for for not eating between meals, you would normally want to take it with your food. Because yeah. if you eat and then wait, let's say one hour and then take the stick and then you're interrupting no. digestion. No, I wouldn't do that. Right, so it's best to take it with your food. Okay. Yeah. They have the leaves. They have the leaves. But for what for what she needs for is what she needs. Yeah, not the leaves. I yeah. Yeah. I got it in the health food store. So the, 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 the leaves is more nutritious for like eating and for nourishing the body. The root is more therapeutic for like fighting breast cancer and um, prostate cancer. Question. You could make tea. And then, was, did someone have their hand on there? Let me take the hand first. Go ahead. I just wanted to know what is good for um No, not cataract. Glaucoma? Huh? Glaucoma, right. You need to get me the recipe. Yeah. Oh, um, I have right. I've not I've not used it, but um I've read articles, I've read research. I write, DMSO, combine together, lemon and you can use raw honey and dil glycerine, dilute it with, with distilled water. And you have to make sure that the DMSO is dilated between probably about 25 to 50%, X, so it might don't have harm you. But I've, I've formulated a recipe, but I've not used it on anyone. You know, we could give her sister 
Margaret number because she needs to know the right ratio. So it's yeah. nice for her to get the yeah. whole number and order it. So you have to, they have to be a special um, ratio with, between the DNSO. What the DNSO does, yeah. DNSO holds on to all those herbs and bring them in the area because they're, they're rich in the nutrients that I need and they actually cause it to cross the blood brain barrier. Yeah, that's the only thing that crosses blood barrier. Um, my bed, uh, and there was somebody else over here. Uh, yeah. <coughs> that's it. That's it. Right. And then I understand that there are four major causes of diseases. One is lack of oxygen. We breathe in our chest rather than in the diaphragm. The second, lack of oxygen, a lack of um, minerals. The salt being depleted is not in the air. Lack of um, um, Toxins in the, in the environment and dehydration. The water we drink and some just two to three percent gets into our cells. So we're we're waterlogged, but not really uh, hydrated. Would you agree with those sisters? Would you agree with that? Would you agree with that? Would you agree with that? Would that? Did those four major causes of diseases really what crowns crowns everything? I I I agree that lack of oxygen plays a very important part. Yes. Though, though, though we breathe, we're not really oxygenated. Right. Because remember, I did, did the breathing yeah, exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of us, we, we, we don't Reach breathe properly. Because when you breathe, the diaphragm should go out. Yes. So, yes, I agree with the oxygen. The I agree with the water. The hydration, yes. Yeah, and what's the other one? Mineral deficiency. Mineral uh, which I just pointed up, yeah. up there, so I agree with that. What's what, that? Toxins. 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 Which I just pointed up there, so yes, I agree with it. And one more thing I am. Um, we eat. And I think that the, the, the book ends of eat is D and H. Say again? The book ends of eat, D and H. D and H, what? No, 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 no. D, Death, when you take off the D, oh. the H, you get eat. Eat. All the time. Oh, okay. And then we diet. Diet. No, we diet. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Die is always with eating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a nice play of words. Uh, but, 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 but it can make some sense. Because sometimes things that look stupid makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. So that, that's, that's beautiful. I, that's, I've never, never looked at it like that before. I have another question. If, if you're going to do no, no. Hold on, sorry. Just win some hand. Um, I've had a hand up a long time. How can I reverse new neuropathy? I'm trying to save my foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing now. How do you reverse neuropathy? We, we, we just showed just now um, the, the cause, and you have to watch the type of carbohydrates that you consume. Um, you have to um, eat a lot of alkaline foods. And there are herbs that you can use that can actually help to correct it. Like you have barberry root, because. Are, are, are you diabetic? Yes. Right, so you, 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 you don't have just have normal neuropathy, you have diabetic neuropathy. So therefore, yours is caused as a result of your diabetes. So you have to up, address the diabetic issue, the underlying cause of diabetes, which was, as we showed you, something blocked in the door that causing the transport of protein not to be able to open up when insulin goes on to the receptor to allow the sugar to go in. So the underlying cause of the diabetes was the fat overload in the cell of the liver as well as the muscles. And so by con addressing that underlying issue, then you'll be able to start on your way to recovery. That suffice? Is that okay? Oh, um, <laughs> the, the, the barberry, and the ashwagandha. The ashwagandha. Thank you. Oh, help. No, So the ashwagandha, the cream of tartar. Then, so ashwagandha. You, you've, you've, you've got the information, because we handed out the, the, the papers. Um, yeah, yeah. The yeah. So you have it in the book. Yeah. So just look, look for the yeah. product that says, um, the product that says U-turn. U-turn. Yeah. Yes, but, uh, in the information that I handed out, the one that says U-turn gives you all the herbs that you can buy. However, I have not put the proportion there. So somebody recently asked me, I don't want to make 
Somebody ask me something. We look at how much it costs for dialysis, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. and, it, and I was told, I was so shocked. I was told that the dialysis costs $4,500 for four hours. I was shocked. Here am I giving out information for free. Information that can save your life and help you to regain your health. But I was told by somebody, because I, the information that I presented that my sister moved wisely and printed it and handed it out to everybody, and I did a plan for the person. Remember what I said? That everything that I do is what? Generic. Except for a few things I might tweak based on your condition. But everything is? Generic. Salvation is generic. But God deals with us on an individual level. So he will treat us differently. So if you have diabetes, I might tell you, use this for diabetes. If you have high blood pressure, I'm not going to give you that. Some people have diabetes for high blood pressure. So somebody felt that they were cheating. And it makes me, but I know it's a different. I have to really stop and wonder. People are, not, mine are right. So I, I have determined to still offer the person this my service, but I don't need their money. Because I don't work for money. I work because I enjoy it, and it keeps me from trouble. I grew up in this judge yard, and when I get trouble, I ye yell a young show up on me. <laughs> she stripped me naked. My grandmother, her mom, my auntie mom. She stripped me naked and rub yellow yam on me, wet me up, and I scratch and I start dancing like Michael Jackson. <laughs> and from that day, I don't give any trouble. <laughs> and so, when I work, I work not for the money. I work because it keeps me from bad company and trouble. So if you give me something, it's not because I want your money. If you choose to give, give. If you don't give, God have a thousand people who will help. So for somebody to tell me that they feel cheated because of what I've given them my information and they got it for free by somebody handing it to them like that. You look, you get it, you get it handed out to you. And it's three colors. So it's just people are sick in their mind the way how they treat their brothers and sisters. Nonetheless. Go ahead, my sister. With the DMS soul, that he said we can drink, right? How do you, like maybe one teaspoon to put into... See now, off, 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 and I'll talk to you about that. Alright? So sell it to... Okay. Since you had a go before, let me okay? Be very, please. If I so, I don't know myself. Muscle contract all the time. Don't know myself. Muscle contract. She said she's with muscle contract all the time. No, potassium and magnesium helps the contract the muscle. So you're lacking in potassium and magnesium. And potassium don't work without magnesium. So you take both of them together. If she should take the tablets. What, what tablets? Magnesium tablet and potassium tablet? Yeah. If you can get it to buy, yes, it will help. Okay. No, you get one of the other. Sister. And I get this pain sometimes in my stomach. <laughs> why? I got this terrible pain, and they say that it's neuropathy, and I don't know. This, this, this lady has some questions. <laughs> she said, I get the pain in my leg, and then she turned. But why? I would know just like that. If you, if you come and I question you, and ask you certain things, I might be able to help you to ascertain what's the cause. But if you just tell me that you get this pain, I'm not able to just tell you that's the cause. Because I, I, I would know just like that. Yes, but they say it's neuropathy. But I'm not 
Yes, which which we explained here, we we explained it in the video that you can be having a neuropathy without you being diabetic. We explained that earlier, but you you probably missed that part. But yes, you can have neuropathy without being diabetic. Okay. Yes, you can. Yes. Come on. There's nothing that can be fixed. It's all to do with the nutrients. But for me to assist you, sit down and we talk. And it's not about money. Just sit down quietly and you can tell me what you're going through, your daily eating and everything. I live alone. No, that's fine. That is one person, Joseph, right? I talk to Dan on the phone. Just take my number and we talk. Simple. Is a solution for everything, all right? Who was the next person? Applying DMSO to shingles and nerve pain, is that? It, it, it helps, yes. With the cayenne pepper? I, I, I blend mine with about 24 cayenne pepper. Wow. Scotch uh, Scotch wine. Scotch wine. As long as it's pepper. And then some oil. Like, as, to use as a carry on. Because the DMSO can be very harsh okay. on the skin. When you put it on your skin, does it feel it's like It's warm, yes. Like, yes. Like it, 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 it's warm, but because you have the, the pepper in it as well, yes. But you have to be careful when you put on the gloves because the material of the gloves can 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 be a, a material that interacts with DMSO. So you have to be a type of material or not to interact with it. So you have to be careful. That's why I said just use your hand. Wash your hands properly and use your hands. Because you don't know what the glove the gloves material is made of made of. Transferring, um, you, um, units. Oh, for the for the, for the yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, she was saying that the, the, the 90 units are the 100 units. Yeah. By the 100 unit capsule, because yeah. yeah. that makes a difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just uh, any information you can lend towards asthma, causes, treatments, etc. Oh, because I, I saw when both of you came in, so you came in a little bit late, and I jumped past that part. But um, asthma is also an allergic um problem, so it starts with the leaky gut. So leaky, yeah, leaky gut. So leaky gut start is is, is underlying cause. One of the underlying cause, toxicant and and other um the same thing as I mentioned the liver polysaccharides in those areas because asthma is due to the lungs. So you have to do a heavy uh, metal detox, detox the body from heavy metals, and also also use stuff stuff like um. Sulfur or a very beautiful thing that's called N acetyl cysteine. You might smell it, it's fine. I spell it better when I write. I can tell you. Alright, so I spell better when I write. That's N hyphen A C E T Y acetyl L hyphen again C Y let me spell it first. C Y S T E I N E. See, I can spell it, but I have to write it first. Right, so N acetyl cysteine. Oh, okay. Or not. Or What it does, it, it's a precursor of glutathione. Glutathione is the main amino acid in the body that functions as that. Antioxidant and it strengthens the, the liver, but it also detoxifies it into the body and draws heavy metal from the body. So, underlying cause of a lot of people with also what do you call it? Asthma. No, asthma. Correct. Asthma. Uh, I always say asthma. <laughs> asthma. Is it, and, and, and allergies oh, is an underlying cause of that, toxins. All right, thank you. And you can use a lot of bee pollen as well. But, but before you start with the bee pollen, you have to be careful because you, you might be allergic to bees and don't know. So you, you start with probably like one eighth of a teaspoon or a quarter right. of a teaspoon. Let's get a sting or something. No, no, no just. <laughs> <laughs> no, just um, take a little bit of the bee pollen. They sell it in the shop yeah. and, and, and yeah. drink it or put it in your tongue. And if you, if you don't feel it away, you can increase. If you start off on a week, just take a quarter teaspoon. And if you don't feel anything, you increase it to half a teaspoon. Increase it until 
You might have been to the market and watch a movie. Yeah. This side now is another. That's what I mean. It's cutting off the work. So, and I now what's going to come down? Don't you right? Not for sure. N A C. No, it's right there. It's right there. You can yeah, not and just go on the internet. Type in not. Not supplement and you get it. Yeah, the final code. So here's here's a system. Let me let it let me say it for you. There's a heavy metal juice and it's very delicious. It's um, half a cup of cilantro, fresh cilantro, half a cup of fresh parsley, and one cup of pineapple, fresh pineapple. And just blend it and drink it. Yes. You'll be amazed. Pull it right up. And it's good. You Any more question? Pass it. No more question. All right. So, thank you for coming out. And tomorrow is a rest night, so no one come for meeting. But Sabbath morning and Sabbath evening, you do not want to miss. Okay. Sabbath afternoon, we're gonna start. Since everyone will be here, we're gonna start. Bam on six o'clock on Sabbath with pastor's permission. Okay, uh, one thing before we go. Uh, you, if you go to our website, uh, let's say hope sda.org, you can download the whole presentation tonight. And even before the meeting started. So, uh, you, know, this, you can download everything from day one right now. Let's say hope sda. That are. You see, we are trying to help you out. That's what our song says for all mankind. So we are selfish. We want everybody to get information because God wants everybody to be healthy and strong. And this is what we want for everybody. So, blessed hope, sda.org. You can download everything that has been said. All right? Prayer time for you all. Let's stand for prayer. <coughs> Dear Father, we are very happy for the occasion that has brought us together. We sat attentively and we have observed, listened carefully, and we are asking you to rivet the information that are saving in our minds so that we can reproduce them and be of help to others. Amen. We ask now that you will be with us as we go to a different places of a boat. Bring us back here on Sabbath and we will listen to your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Help for you, help for me, help for